The interesting thing about bubbles is they're a gas surrounded by a liquid. So get some dish soap and some water, and then be science maximites and find things around the house that you can make bubbles out of. Just about anything that has holes will do. Or, mm -hmm. or, I like this one. I call it the loud bubble. the Ontario Science Centre, and this is Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Hey, how's it going? Good. So you are amazing at bubbles. Uh, I am. I've been practicing for a while. Let's get started. Okay. You're going to make an okie dokie sign like this. Uh -huh. You're going to dip it right into our bubble solution. Make, come on, get right in okay, there, right, right in, in there. Make sure you get it all. Oh, that's, that's a little too much. Well, that's then good. I can make two. And then you're going to keep that okie dokie sign. You're going to blow very gently. Nice. I brought these two giant sticks here, and I don't know if you noticed, but I've got a smoke machine here. Right. So we'll turn that on, and then if you press that green button there, you're gonna shoot some smoke, and we're gonna try to catch that smoke in a giant bubble. You ready? Okay, and I'm gonna try to... Oh, that was so that was close. Great. Did you see wow. that one? You give it a shot. Nice! Oh, check yeah. that out! That was amazing! <laughs> that was huge. Try it again. Let's see if I can get the smoke so machine. Here we go. Go for it, go for it. Push right towards... Oh, check that out, you did it, look at that, look at that. No. Smoke, and it, yeah. bounces, it bounces on the floor because the floor, it doesn't have any oils like our hands do. Isn't that amazing? That was oh great. my God, that was so cool. That was great. You know what I think we should do? What's that? Giant bubble, tons of smoke. Done. Okay, here we go. Let's do it, you ready? Giant bubble, tons of smoke, go. Awesome! Oh my god, <laughs> look at that! Woo! Amazing! Look at that! That's crazy! Max out bubble! Well, there you go! Giant smoke filled bubbles! Awesome! Yeah! Hey, David, how you doing? Hey, good. Good. So, David's going for his Master's of Applied Science in Aerospace Science and Engineering. So, you know all about planes. I do. Great. Yeah. So, what does this have to do with planes? What is this? So, this is a water channel and it allows us to test airplanes in it before we put them in the sky. Great. We'll have my airplane and we'll just put it in here and we'll test it. Please, it's made of paper. Yeah. And in the water, it becomes. Soggy. Well, well, how do we test our paper airplane if we can't put it in the water? Well, this is a, a, a classic uh, airfoil shape. Yes. Now, is that what you call it, airfoil? An airfoil, yeah. So the cross-sectional shape of a wing is called an airfoil. Okay. Uh, and that's what generates the lift. Fortunately, air and, and water are both fluids, so they behave in the same way. I could push ink into the water, and that's going to allow us to see how the fluid flows over the aircraft. So if you tilt its nose up a little bit, you'll be able to see that the shape of the airfoil is actually pushing the water downwards. Oh yeah, you're and right, the, the ink doesn't go straight, it goes, it yeah, follows the it wing follows down. It follows the shape of the wing down, and we have a lower pressure on the top of the wing and a higher pressure on the bottom of the wing, which pushes it upwards. Right, generating and that, lift. that creates lift. Exactly. So do you, you guys use this all the time in, in aerospace? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty Absolutely. neat. So, uh, are you ready to design an even bigger plane? A giant paper plane? I'm, I'm confident we can do a good job. I am excited about it. Let's do it right now. Uh, the, but the big paper's over this way. This way. Okay. Here's the plan. Take a giant piece of paper and fold the exact same airplane we did in the lab. The small one flew. The large one should too, right? Well, let's find out. I believe we are ready to make our giant paper airplane. All we need is... A giant piece of paper! Yeah. Okay, be very careful getting off it. Yeah. All right, let's fold it. Uh, nose on that side. Okay. Remember, we're folding the exact fold we did in the lab, only on a larger scale. We have a tape, a tape malfunction down here. But it's a lot harder to do with a giant piece of paper. Fantastic. That's pretty good. Okay. There. Perfect. Yeah. Giant paper airplane. <laughs> this uh, this doesn't look too much like an airplane. No, it's way, way too floppy. Yeah, but I mean, what, maybe it just like when I throw it, maybe it'll catch the winds, and then the wings will come up like that. Whoa. 
Uh, yep. Ma yeah. Maybe. Like, you know, I'll just... Uh, give it a try, Phil. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Give it a try. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Go for it. Okay, here we go. Oh man. I think, I think we can make some improvements. It sort of oh. felt it sort of felt like a bed sheet. I feel if I just threw my lab coat, it'd probably look, let me just see. Okay, ready? Yeah, it looks pretty much the same, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, I didn't know this, but when you fold paper that big, it sort of behaves like fabric. Yeah, very, very floppy. Very floppy. What if we supported the plane, like we, we put struts or something in it, like um, yeah. Like this stick, if we put it on the wings, it'll stop it from being so floppy. Right, right? and you right. can tape it on. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. We, need, we need bigger, bigger. sticks. Yeah. Really lightweight. Like, so uh, uh, like, foam? Yeah, uh, and uh, like hollow tubes. Hollow tubes? Hollow tubes. Good. Over. Good. So we'll, we'll put a whole bunch on there, we'll tape them on so that it doesn't flop around. Yeah. And we'll try to get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's go. All right. Greetings, Science Maximites. Welcome to. Science Max experiments at large. My name is Phil, and today on Science Max, we're going to be looking at gravity. What goes up must come down. Today, gravity is the force that makes things fall <laughs> towards the ground. But just because it's a force of nature doesn't mean that we have to listen to it. No! Today on Science Max, experiments at large, we're gonna use everything in the power of science to defy gravity! Ha <laughs> ha! We are going to be making a hoop glider. Now, hoop gliders may not look like much, but they fly just like paper airplanes. Woohoo! And here's how you can make a hoop glider. Here's how you can make a hoop glider all your own. This is what you need. Index cards, scissors, straw, ruler, pencil, and of course, science tape, which is just like regular tape, except you use this kind of tape for science. So, here's how you do it. Take your index card and cut it into three equal lengths. Take two strips, and you take your science tape, and you tape those two strips, and make a hoop out of it. And with the small strip, you wanna make another hoop. Now, what you wanna do is take your straw. Now this straw has a little scoop at the end, and that's not very aerodynamic, so we're gonna get rid of that. Ooh, maybe it was kinda aerodynamic. All right, now that we've got the straw, you have to align the hoop and the straw together. So here's what I like to do. Take some science tape, and stick it on the straw and then align it so that it's perfectly straight and then stick it on. Looks straight to me, all right? The small hoop also has to be perfectly aligned with the first hoop. So again, put the tape on the straw first, then align them up and then start looking down through it, make sure it's aligned. There. Once you have it all taped together, you're done, your hoop glider. And it flies just like a paper airplane. Pew! Awesome! So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna, we're gonna, oh yeah, I gotta clean that up. This is ferrofluid. It is ferromagnetic, which means it's attracted to magnets. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, it's not that interesting. Well, watch as I put it next to this magnet. Mm. Very interesting. And because it's a liquid, it behaves in very interesting ways. Watch this. Unlike most things ferromagnetic, like paper clips or iron filings, ferrofluid is a liquid, which means it behaves in a unique way. The spikes it creates are following the magnetic field lines of the magnet. You can see the magnetic field in 3D. It's even more impressive when we max it out. This is ferrofluid outside of a glass jar. Now, it's sitting in a pool around this electromagnet. And this is a dial which I can use to change the voltage of the electromagnet, making the magnet stronger. Watch this. Changing the current going to the spiral in the middle turns it into a magnet. The more current I put in, 
the stronger that magnet becomes, allowing the ferrofluid to climb the spiral to the top. And remember, even though it looks all spiky, it's still a liquid. I will demonstrate with my plastic spoon. And watch this, when I turn the magnet off, it stops being spiky. Turn it on. Turn it off. Science. Ugh. The Wizard Academy. All you have to do is demonstrate true magic. And you will be granted entry. Well, Fuzzix, who is the next applicant for the Wizard Academy? Overwhelmo. Indeed it is I, Overwhelmo. And prepare to be over well, no. Would you be flabbergastified if I balanced this coin on its end? Not really, no. But would you be impressed if I was to balance this coin on top of this coin? Possibly. Prepare to be flustered and stupefied. Stupid. Stupid flustered as I balance three coins on their ends on top of this glass. Well, that certainly would seem like magic. Let us see. Okay. No pressure, Overwhelmo. You can do this. And now, I say, a magic word. A magic word! Ha 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 ha! And now, you must let me into your academy. Wait. What's under the cloth? What, what cloth? This cloth, nothing! Oh! Is that a magnet? This? No! The pull of the magnet is what's keeping those coins up. The magnet is just strong enough to keep the coins from falling. No! This is set... set dressing. It's just... <laughs> it was a good trick, but it's science, not magic. Well, yes. And you will see! You will see! I will be back! I, Overwhelmo, will return! And I will do such magic that you will need extra socks because I will knock them off! With my magic, you will need at least two pairs of socks, maybe three pairs of socks. We can still see you! No, you can't! 